tonight You're about to have a really good time And it's sure to make you smile On the bus, in the car, on the airpods without wires Crank it up on the website, it's the Madam Liam Podcast Madam Liam Podcast G'day there, podcaster Yeah, welcome to episode 468, Laser Remnant Juice um, <laughs> One now, of the better titles in a while Yeah, I find it pretty funny um, Have you seen the, the boss's email yet? Uh, no. Okay, well, I think we need to discuss that at the um, the end of the podcast. Oh, so, no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's been, yeah. It's been a pretty fun episode so far, but um, yeah, we'll tell you what the email was next. You are listening to Liam and the Terminator this morning. <laughs> ben uh, has the thickest wraparound black sunnies on in the studio. Yes, well, Liam, uh, people listening to the show might know that I wear glasses. Yeah. I've needed them my whole life. I only started wearing them when I was like 18. I always hated having to wear them because they were an inconvenience. So I finally got some laser eye surgery Exciting. yesterday after the show. I hope you don't have to wear those sunnies, though, for the rest of your life. Well, no, I've just got these on because in the studio there's, like, a lot of bright lights. Yeah. And my eyes are a bit sensitive. Okay. So it is hurting my eyes, so that's why I've got the wraparound I, I feel like it would be better for everyone in the room if your eyes were to just hurt for the morning <laughs> and you weren't wearing those sunglasses because they are ridiculous and I think they're putting everyone off a little bit. I reckon maybe we can take a photo or something and put it up <laughs> on the Ben Liam Instagram if you want to see the wraparounds that I am wearing during the show this morning. It's like you're going to deal some speed to me after... <laughs> After one of the songs. Hey Liam, have you checked out whatif.com's top 10 winter weekenders yet? Um, of course. How goes a what if tip? You got Fraser Coast in there, Coral Coast, Bruni Island, Orange. Book your winter getaway on the What If app. What if? It's Aussie for travel. It's a Now, this week, there has been a lot of soccer chat because, of course, Australia have made the World Cup. Mm. Liam's very excited about this because on this show, he's the soccer man. Yeah, I'm the football man, actually. It's, no, know, it's confusing, I'd, I'd appreciate it if you the real Here in Australia, name. we call it soccer, and football is Aussie rules. You know what? AFL. People who actually play it call it football here. It, but bar the Socceroos thing, like, you know. What do you mean? Well, the people who play what you would call soccer would yes, call it football. the minority. No. Majority would call it football. Yeah, mate, well... You survey 10 people in Australia and say, what's football? 9 out of 10 will say AFL. You know the game where you use your hands? Yes. That's interesting. And your feet? Well, true, but, I mean, with uh, soccer or football, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it, you're only using your feet. That's not the debate, though. The debate is what is the better sport? Now, I would argue that using your hands and your feet takes more skill because you're using both instruments rather than just your feet. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say a few billion people would disagree with that. Anyway, um, this is not even the debate, guys. <laughs> obviously, we like. Obviously, we're going to go at each other's throats, um, and it's up to the jury to decide who is the victor. Helen, Courtney, Antonio. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Ben and Liam. All right, there's 30 seconds on the clock. We each have that time to prove our points. For the sake of it, to your point, we'll just say soccer versus footy is the is the is the topic of this big debate. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm really keen to to hear your argument. I know there'd be a few people mm-hmm. listening, probably on your side, but um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm I'm keen to see what you have to say, Ben. Here we go. This isn't Europe, Liam. We live in Australia, okay? We like our Vegemite salty, our beer cold, and our football's oval shape. There's no pads, no red cards, no faking for free kicks. Cristiano Ronaldo shouldn't have five balloon Dior's. He should have five Tonys because his acting is that good. And AFL legend Lee Matthews shouldn't have four premierships. He should have four Victoria Crosses because he's killed that many men there out on the oval. And what's with the low scores and the draws in soccer? It's so boring. We spoke to Nicole earlier in the week who suffered from narcolepsy. Turns out she doesn't actually have it. She's just been watching the A Oh, well, I certainly hope she's not listening. Why? My goodness. My goodness. I will have you not. No, 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 no. Do not. Do not say that thing about my game. No, no, no. I think I rattled you a little bit. No, no, no. Yeah, there was a few questionable (laughs) lines in that. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Um, 
Here we go. My time starts now. It's the world game for a reason, mate. Football's more technical. There's bigger rivals. The, the margins are finer. It's unpredictable. There's more passion. No one's ever lit in a flare at the MCG, mate. Just under 4 million people watched the last AFL Grand Final. That's cute. 3.5 billion watched the last World Cup. At 37, you mentioned him before, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's 7% body fat. Put anyone in the AFL next to him. He's still hands down a superior athlete, apart from maybe Ben Cousins in the meth era. <laughs> that was like 22 seconds You still had 8 seconds left you Oh I must have I had a few more lines But I thought I didn't want to like Overcook it Okay So I yeah I All let right. it run under uh, I'm going into this Quietly confident Let's see what the jury thinks You reckon I mean Helen. the last call is Antonio I think I know Who well, he's going to support I think he might surprise you I don't know Helen Who won the big debate Was it me saying footy Or Liam saying soccer Oh, what can I say? Liam, I went to a soccer game once and you would have loved it. It was Everton versus CF, uh, versus the Sydney Football Club. Yeah. And it was the biggest waste of 90 <laughs> minutes of my life. Are you for real? I, everybody goes to the soccer once and there's a reason for that, yeah. love. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. in the toilet. They scored one goal in the whole game, and yeah. I was in the toilet. That's what I said. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Fine margins. Take me, take me to the four. Do you know? Yeah. The thing is, yeah. 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 footy's only good when it gets down to like the last minute, and everyone's like, "Oh, after the siren, it was after the siren, sort of win." What are you but it's like, about? yeah, most of the time it blows out. It's like fifty points well, in it. The game's boring for the last couple of quarters. Yeah, but you only find it exciting when someone wins in the last sort of. That happens way more often in soccer. No you know way. I mean? So like, many draws in soccer. Look, let's save it for the jury. Courtney, who won? Was it me saying footy or? Liam saying soccer? Well, I have to disagree. Liam, soccer, definitely the way to go. And just by sheer numbers, like billions of people, mm -hmm. trillions of people watch, you know, soccer. But what's AFL? I don't even know. Yeah, that's just because it started in somewhere where there's more population. doesn't mean it's a better game. Well, you, you'd think after this long, though, I mean, like, Melbourne Football Club's probably one of the oldest clubs in the world. You'd think it would have expanded maybe at least to one other country in that time, but obviously not. Antonio, mate, in Woodville, it all comes down to you. Good morning, sir. Oh, Ben and Liam, my two favourite sports. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> I, I've got a quick couple of questions. Yeah. Liam, greatest yeah. soccer player of all time. Uh, pfft, I mean, I, I mentioned Ronaldo. I mean, I, pfft, I mean, mm. no, I mean, wrong. I, you Richie, know, Richie no. Alligich. Richie <laughs> Alligich from the 03 04 Adelaide United Premiership team. Yeah. Ben, greatest footy player of all time. False Williams. Wrong. Shane Allen, 1997 hero, five goals <laughs> in the grand final. Richie Alligich. Richie Alligich is on, in my, on my Mount Rushmore for Adelaide United players, for sure. I was always more of an Angela Costanza kind of guy, but yeah. yeah. Very good player, great uh, ponytail. Absolutely. Looked like Qui-Gon Jinn <laughs> okay. from the uh, okay. Star Wars prequels. Look, boys, uh, very good debates, as always. I, I've only started saying that since my wife Tina told me I couldn't be mean, but good debate. <laughs> Um, I have to go just on the debates here because this is a really tough one. Yeah. Uh, look, Liam, billions of people do watch it. Ronaldo, Literally. very similar to Cousins in his mess era. Yes, yes. Uh, Flares, it's the world game. You know, it's an exciting sport to watch. It can be a bit boring. I, mm -hmm. I'll give you that. But, uh, look, it is an exciting game. Ben, mm. look, it's our Australian game. Yeah. There's no faking. Lee Matthews, I think he broke a, uh, a, a point post in half. <laughs> you think you're right. But how's this? Did you know there was a, a former prisoner of war, German prisoner of war, who was such a good goalkeeper that he ended up playing for Man City and he ended up breaking his neck in the FA Cup final and played out the rest of the game with two broken vertebrae in his neck? Okay, cool story. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, all I'm saying is I don't think Lee Matthews, the Swiss multivitamin guy, ever did that. No, he broke a point post. Liam, okay. Liam, I'm starting to lean towards you. Okay. Don't ruin it, all right? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, oh, look, I think what, what was the clincher for me is, Ben, narcolepsy is no joke. You cannot pay our people. I wasn't paying have... anyone out. No. I was using it to make a point. The winner is Liam oh, Sanderson. That was a debate. A big debate. We now. that, Antonio. Hey, oh. if you've got a spare seat in your rumpus room, I wouldn't mind watching a few of the World Cup <laughs> games with you. It's Ben and Liam. It's 610. Hallelujah. It's 610. Morning, Grace and Plimpton. You looking forward for the weekend? Yeah, I'm working. <laughs> oh, that's no good. What do you do? Uh, I'm a swimming teacher. All oh, right. Okay. Learn how to swim at State Swim. 
Actually, yes. Yes, well, very it's good. Like it's, right now. <laughs> to, to be fair, if you were to work for any, um, you know, swimming instructor conglomerate, that would be the, the big one. Yep. It's, it's, you know, very much well respected. Um, so what class are you doing this morning? The dolphins? Are you doing the platypuses? What, octopi? What do you got? Well, I'm actually just opening, so we've got just lots of us in at the moment. Yeah, cool. Learn to swim doesn't start till nine. Okay, but, yeah. thank God. A little bit of peace <laughs> and quiet until then. Uh, okay, well, let's have a little reach around in this bucket of prizes and see what we've got here for you. Um, oh, here we go. That's pretty cool. A hundred dollar Prezi voucher. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good. Yeah. All right. If you want to get your hands on that, Grace, you do have to get the next five questions correct. Okay. Adelaide United and Aussie soccer hero Craig Goodwin is joining us on the show today, fresh from scoring a penalty and sending us to the World Cup. What is the nickname of Australia's soccer team? The Socceroos. That's the one. Paul McCartney turns 80 tomorrow. Happy birthday to the former Beatle. Can you name any other Beatle? Ringo Starr. Very good. I would have gone for John Lennon myself, but clearly you're no, a Ringo I, kind of fan. I would have also gone Ringo. Good choice. Um, and no one would have <laughs> gone George Harrison, unfortunately. Um, he's one of my favourites, though. Um, so, look, we are closer to a Hill City train line after a company was approved for a technology trial. Uh, what's your favourite Hills town? Uh, Woodside. It's pretty good. What do you like so much about Woodside? They've got some really nice little op shops in there. Okay, cool. Because I feel like you were just saying because it's just the first one that came to your mind. Yeah. Like, is Woodside the best? <laughs> like when, when you've got like Harndorf yeah. and there's like so, you know. Flagstaff uh, Hill, you know. Yeah. Flagstaff Hill? Yeah. It's like, isn't that down south? Is that, I would, I would, no, that'd be hills. Flagstaff Hill? Yeah, I'd say nah, it's hills. I wouldn't say that's hills. I'd, say it's, I'd say it's through mm-hmm. the hills. What I'd do say, you, what what you, you reckon, Grace? Grace? You live in Adelaide as well? Yeah, I reckon that's not quite the hills. No, yeah. I reckon, no, sorry. no. I reckon it's through the... I know yeah. it says hill. Know, yeah, and I know it is south. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah. Uh, we'll agree to disagree on that. Biggie's fighting a losing battle <laughs> on that one. I don't think so. Mate, I know you've had your lies, laser eye surgery. Your eyes don't work, but you, you, your mind should. Okay, Beyonce has announced she'll be releasing a new album next month, Grace. How exciting. Which former girl group was she in? Destiny's Child. She most certainly was. Last question. Uh, Tom Hanks has gone ballistic at a fan for knocking over his wife, Rita Wilson, in New York. Back the f*** off! What are y'all doing? Knocking over my wife! Which is fair. They knocked over his wife. Uh, Can you finish this classic movie line? My mum always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get. Very good. Well done, Grace. Awesome, Grace. Well, you've scored yourself that voucher. Congratulations. Thank you. Prezi is the perfect personalised e-gift card for any occasion. You can send me the video or audio message. You can head to prezi.com.au. That's, you can basically spend that on anything. Now, you also get to choose the next song we play as the winner. So, would you like to hear my song this morning? <laughs> Would you like to hear some Christina Aguilera? What are you feeling on your Friday, Grace? They are both bangers, mm. but Stacey's mum, for sure. Stacey's mum. All right. Fountains of Wayne it is. It's Friday morning. Enjoy State Swim, Grace. <laughs> Thank you. Since your dad will tell you Ben and Liam love you. Now, earlier this morning, uh, we mentioned that the Terminator is in the studio. Um, ben is wearing Arnold Schwarzenegger glasses from the 1980s smash hit film. Um, you're claiming they're medical? Yes. Well, not claiming they're medical. They are medical. Yeah. Because... They, like, they could. I know they're medical, but they could be a little bit cooler. So all my life, I've needed glasses. Teachers always told me in school, because I was always squinting at the whiteboard and I needed glasses. I put it off for as long as I could. When I was 18... Especially being on the dairy farm, I needed to get them because I couldn't read the cow's ear tags and you need to put it into the machine sometimes. Right. So I had to finally... And, and you were pulling the wrong thing yeah. when uh, you were supposed to be looking for the teeth. So I had to finally bite the bullet, wear glasses, and then as I get older, my eyes have gotten worse and worse and worse. And then I think as of yesterday, my eyes were at like a negative four and a negative four and a half. What's so like... 
what's the worst you can get? I've asked that to an optometrist once, and they said they once had a patient that was twenty, which Ooh. is like, like obviously hey, minus twenty or yeah. So because twenty twenty vision is like the perfect. Yeah, no. So like the weaker your eyes are, the stronger your script needs to be. I see. And the stronger your script is, the thicker they are. Yeah, so they you get said some the, real thick ones. They said that the the twenty was so thick they had to get custom made rims to hold the <laughs> lens. Yeah, I got custom rims, not yeah. the kind that you think, though. <laughs> not the kind that you think. So I've always uh, needed glasses. I've worn them now for the last eight or so years. But uh, I don't like, the, like from a cosmetic point of view, I've always liked how they look on me. I must admit, I think they the, suited me. The general consensus is that you look good with glasses. Yep. Some may say better. Yep. But I think we'll get used to yep. the no glasses band. And it's a hell of a job for the Nova marketing team who now have to Photoshop yeah. your glasses out of all the uh, promotional well, pictures. I think I've got quite pointy features. So yeah, oh, yeah, chin yeah. and nose, probably my jawline. Everything's quite pointy on my face. So I think the glasses kind of rounded it out nicely. Absolutely. And then when I lose that, you go, oh, that's a very pointy man. Yeah. Uh, but at least you've got the um, the beard. Yeah. I, mean, I think it'd be too, if you took the beard off and it had no glasses, yeah. like, it'd be too much like naked yeah. skin all at once. But from like a practicality point of view, I hated having to actually wear them. Like I hated waking up and putting them on. And then if I was playing sport or whatever, I would, I would struggle to play with the glasses on. I'd take them off, I'd get headaches. So I hated having to actually wear them. So what like, like the actual operation itself, because yeah. I've always wondered. Yeah. Because, you know, it's like pretty serious, right? Like, you're not allowed to move, otherwise oh, yeah. the laser hits the wrong spot. Like, so, And you have to... Do they have little things in to, like, open your eyes? Yeah, like yeah, a yeah, clockwork yeah. orange? So when I first got there, the, the pre-op nurse was like... The first thing she said was, are you nervous? And I said, nah, I'm all good. And she said, you should be. Yeah, no, she said, are you nervous? I said, nah, I'm all good. And she said, are you sure? And I said, yeah, I'm all good. And she said, well, I'll give you something for the nerves anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which made me start to think, well, maybe they want to sedate me so I don't move whatsoever. Hey, this stuff's great. Yeah. You know, we're doing it, we're doing it on lunch yeah. break. Um, it's really good gear. And then, so they gave me the sedation medication and then the Jason Sudeikis medication. And then I went onto the machine and uh, the machine, so like the bed moves you to the machine. So the machine, like the, the laser op doesn't move. So you get laid onto this bed and then they wheel you up to it. And then the crazy thing is, because they got to put you up It's also, the sorry, it's funny, if anyone just tuning in, the Terminator music's still playing, and, and it's you talking about, like, oh, hey, is Ben a cyborg now? Has he got a robotic arm? So they, they bring you up to the machine. So it's this big machine, and it all kind of comes down to a point the size of your eyeball, obviously. And they bring you up to it, and then, so i got both my eyes done, so they did this to both the eyes. And then they, they jack you up to the machine, and then it Whoa. fits perfectly around your eye, and then the machine goes, suction, on. <laughs> And then your eye, <laughs> your eye, because it has to create a seal around your eye, I believe. So yeah. it doesn't hurt. It's totally painless, but it does create a suction around your eyeball. What? And there's a green light, and the green light flashes. He says, look at the green light. And then after uh, probably three or four seconds, the light slowly fades. I yeah. believe that's probably when the lasers start to kick in. Right. And then the crazy thing is, so then that's done. So after like six seconds... Six All done. seconds. Six seconds and the actual laser part's done. Well, that's, that's but then the crazy easy. thing is when you get lowered back down and you come back out from under the machine, you can't see anything. You can see, like, white, but you can, it's all super blurry. And then um, the doctor says, uh, okay, now you shouldn't be able to see anything. I said, no, I can't. Okay, he said, okay. And then he gets like, a, I don't know what it was because I couldn't see it, but he opens your eye because they've got a clip in there to keep your eye from closing. And they start, like, scraping isn't the right word, but they start, like, they start doing something to the eye and the more they do it, the more I can see. So I think they're like scraping off like the laser remnant juice. You know what I mean? Like something's oh. on my eye that they're scraping off. That was a weird sensation because the eyes numb, so you can so they numb it, so you can't feel it, but you can feel the. You know, if you've had your wisdom teeth pulled out and you can't feel the pain, but you can feel the you can feel the force yeah. that they're putting on it. Well, um, if you haven't tuned out, and I don't think there'd be many of you. Good morning. You're on Nova <laughs> uh, with Ben and Liam. That was pretty raw. But uh, that is the reason why I'm doing a show this morning with the Terminator. <laughs> when, when can you get rid of those uh, ridiculous sunglasses? Well, I was thinking I might keep them on. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Remember I was saying I looked so good with glasses. I was just thinking I was going to wear these uh, cool sunnies. You can see a, f a photo of them on the Ben and Liam Instagram story if you want to see just how ridiculous they are. P to the O to the D to the cast. We are joined now by your Saturday morning breakfast host, Jodie Oddy. Good morning. I'm getting used to new, like, new look, Ben. Yeah, so uh, yesterday I got my laser eye surgery done, which means no more glasses for me. I've got the Terminator glasses off at the moment, Jodie, but this is what I've been wearing this morning <laughs> because of the bright lights. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know what they look like? What? Service station sunny. Yeah. Um, if you want to see what they look like, uh, hit up the Ben and Liam Instagram page. We put a video and a photo up there for yeah, you. Yeah. You know who you look like? You look like um, Mason Cox who plays the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aggressive black sunglasses. Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, do you feel better? Uh, I feel like, yeah, so at the moment, like bright lights, I'm kind of sensitive to that. Yeah. But I can already see way better. So I can see wow. further away without my glasses, which is pretty cool. And and like oh, I almost whoa. caught I almost caught I just that. threw a pen at Ben to see how good his periphery <laughs> was and it, it was close. You know what? At some point during this break, throw that pen again and okay. I'm gonna catch it. Awesome. Okay. All right. Oh, no, you're he's gonna be so not concentrated in this story now. <laughs> no, like. I will, I will. Oh, he's, you've actually got really pretty eyes. Oh, thank I've never you. noticed them before, but they're really nice shade of blue. Thank you very much. Gorgeous. Hey, um I wanna tell you about something that happened during the week because it's so bizarre. Um, I purchased for my little girl, my two-and-a-half-year-old mm. Harper, I got her a pair of shoes from Kmart, right? Mm. And they light up. Oh, I've always wanted to love those. those. Yeah, I love when, those when the kids jump around, the lights yeah. go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she just, like, trots along mm. and the lights just, like, activate. I don't yep. know how, what, or when. But we've had a, a bit of rain during the week. Yeah. And so now I've got this real irrational fear <laughs> that if she wears her little light up shoes out in the rain, that yeah. she's going to like electrocute herself. I, I don't. That's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. I don't think that's going to happen. Mean, how is that's it ridiculous? Ridiculous. Because how the, is it ridiculous? Because how is she going to get electrocuted from little batteries in her shoes? She's fine. Like if, 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 if there were to be some sort of freak accident, it would be like a, a little like when you lick a battery and you <laughs> yeah. go, "Ooh, what was that?" Oh, like, like a little spark or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. but I just, I'm like, don't jump in any. Oh, oh, oh I I can I call it? Yeah. I could say that as a catch. Oh, yeah. um, no, but I think that's 100%. That's definitely an irrational fear. Yeah. That's easily an irrational fear. Having said that, though, um, I can't judge because I'm terrified of the sensation of a nail bending back. That makes my skin is absolutely that, cruel. Is that irrational? I think everyone's pretty scared. No, but I'm nails. genuinely like, I don't, anything anything near my nails makes me freak out. Oh, I thought you meant like a hammer and nail. Sorry, no, 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 like my like fingernail. fingernail. Like even if I don't, even if I don't bend it back, if something touches it and I feel like it almost bent back, I have to push it back down. Like even though it hasn't bent, I have to like make sure that it hasn't bent over. Just I hate, double check. Yeah, I had to double check. Yeah. Well, you were having a nightmare when you cut your own finger off earlier yeah. this year. Oh. Yeah. Um, for me, it's belly buttons. Anything to do with the belly button. I feel like the skin's a little thinner around it, and I just don't like. I think I'd rather be stabbed than someone put their finger in my belly button. Yeah, are you kidding? I honestly, it freaks me out. Like, it's just anything near it. I'm like, oh no. Even like sometimes, if like in the shower or something, I accidentally get near it myself and go. Ugh. You're scared of your own belly button. Yeah, I well, I feel like it's like the the skin's like thinner there, and if you like pierce it, then um, you know, your guts will come out. I, I, obviously, that's not going to happen, <laughs> no. but like I, that's just what, in my head, that's what I think. Do you know, I, and I probably shouldn't say this, but if you put your finger in your belly button, it can actually feel real nice. Like, gives you really nice... That's actually no, me feel like it that. Feel no. really, really yeah. nice. If you, you just know what? get your little finger in there no. and play around. No, 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 no. Liam's isn't even the weirdest in the room because, uh, Producer Bell, if you jump on that mic there, yours... Is that Hello. working? Yeah, yours is yeah, even hi. weirder. Your So what is your irrational fear? you got two that I know oh, of. I have an irrational fear of balconies that, um, I ca- like, if I step on a balcony, I'm I'm sure it's going to collapse. Like, yeah, I always that's, think yeah, it's going to okay. fall. Yeah. Okay. Um, my other one is that I... I have a constant fear that we're constantly going to be sucked into a black hole at any second because you don't. You That's why she's so highly <laughs> strung. Hey, you walk around being like, it could be next tomorrow. That wasn't even. Know. That wasn't even the main one I know of. The main one I know of <laughs> is mascots. You're oh, super yeah. scared of mascots. <laughs> yeah. Like people in mascot outfits, Why? yes. Why? Because you don't know who's in there. <laughs> <laughs> and you might get sucked into a black hole and yeah. there's a man in the suit. Oh, balcony. Who knows? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. And 13... Imagine getting sucked into a black hole as a giant fruit yeah. giant. Yeah. 132410 <laughs> uh, is the number. Irrational fears. If you are scared of something, no, you know, not like, not like snakes. That's I would say that's rational. Yeah, that's if rational. If you have an irrational fear, if it's just people in mascot costumes or whatever. Uh, if you've got one, 13, 24, 10, give us a buzz, just like Maddie has done. What is your irrational fear, Maddie? Drains. Any sort of drains. Drains. Okay. <laughs> I mean, obviously, as in like storm drains because of the film It? Storm or just drains, like- shower drains, kitchen sink drains, like anything. If you can sit your pinky down it, I'm terrified. Yeah, are you <laughs> scared that you'll get stuck or are you scared of what's down there? Well, I had a bad dream one night that my dad's uh, work boot fell down there and I went down there to get it and some little monster got me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And since then, it's just been a mortal fear. Yep. Or how do you feel about drains with a lot of hair to sit on uh, the top of them? How do you feel about those? Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, so what you, when, you, when you're having a shower, you're just really trying not to look at it? or 
Don't look at it, don't sit on it, don't stand on it, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you'd be sitting on it. A little, in bit the first place. little bit weird to sit on the uh, drain. <laughs> don't you guys sit in the shower? I love sitting in the shower. Really? Yeah, it's great. That seems like it's another conversation for another time. <laughs> uh, Carl joins us now. What is your irrational fear? Yeah, g'day. I, um, I, I can't handle people touching my knees or my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> like the major joints. Yeah, right. Because I mean, I'm it's like... Because I'm like, yeah, as I said, like I got the belly button thing, but it's like it's pretty rare that someone would be like near your belly button. But yeah. um, I mean, elbows easily, they're exposed, mm. they're out. Yeah. You know, knees, you know, if you're close to someone on a bus or a train, you mm. could you could end up touching knees. That is a strange one, Carl. Thank you very much. Rebecca, what is your irrational fear? I can't stand having the buttons on a quilt cover facing my head. Oh, <laughs> so right. they, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's annoying from an aesthetic point of view, but I wouldn't say I'm scared well, of it. What's like? What's the fear? Like that they'll like you know take the your eye out is, or something. I have no idea. So I've always made my bed with them at the end, and then one day my ex partner made it with them at the head, and I got in and just had a panic attack. Oh, <laughs> and, and then, is that why he's the ex partner? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, All right. Do you know my husband will yeah. not change a doona cover because he said to me, I got trapped in there as a small boy, <laughs> so I'm too scared. But I think it's just an elaborate ruse, so yeah. he doesn't have to yeah. change it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, Kirsty, you've got one? Yes, I'm scared of guinea pigs. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're not the scariest animal. Is it the sound they make or they... I don't know. They just they creep me out. Mm. Yeah, I, I would say they're they're more scared of you than you are of them because I'm pretty sure they can die if they're like startled. Yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so just like just mad dog. Them, just yeah, <laughs> if you see a guinea pig, just scream at it. Yeah, uh, Sarah, what is your irrational fear? It's not mine. It's my husband. Um, he can't hear or see the word cheesecake. That's the weirdest <laughs> one I've ever heard. That's I know, but he he can eat it though. He can eat it, but just, <laughs> he calls it the special soft pizza. We can like, call him, you know, yeah. call it a slice. Oh, right, okay, a slice. Do you slice know time. where that came from? No, you can't even talk about it, can you? Yeah, well, of course. It. He gets that's, a headache. He gets a it. headache if he hears it. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. So you imagine him driving past the cheesecake shop. Just <laughs> oh, <like>. no. <laughs> Freaking out. Every, every time he hears the ad, it's the cheesecake shop. <laughs> 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 Amanda, what is your irrational fear? I'm scared of blue tack. It hurts my teeth. Oh, my God. What do you mean it hurts your teeth? It hurts your teeth. Well, when everyone plays with it or I touch it, it, like, gives, like, it hurts my teeth and I freak out. Like, I can't handle it. It's really Ooh, weird. Amanda, <laughs> I tell you what. You I'd, would hate me I'd Amanda. love if, if Ben Harvey, if he rocked up to your house and picked you up in his car. Oh, yeah. I am obsessed with blue tack, so I got a bunch of it from work. Like, I got heaps of those strips, and I rolled up into a big ball. And then in my car, when I drive around, I use it like it's kind of like stress relief, I guess. Stress I play, ball. I play with the blue tack. Yeah. And recently, my wife freaked out. She got in the car and she was like, "Ah!" Because I had I'd gotten like six or seven bits of blue tack, and I'd rolled them so they were really skinny and pointy. Yeah. And I stuck them to the dash, and they kind of like hung down like long, creepy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, how do you feel about that? And it's it's so, no, that freaks me out. And the, hurting my teeth already. Yeah. yeah. The worst bit is it's not. It's it's kind of like black tack now because he's got so much dirt oh, in his hands yeah. like o over the years that it's like Disgusting. not even blue anymore. All right, I reckon we'll leave the irrational fears there. Jodie, will catch you on Saturday morning. Thanks for having me. Lib Pod Men Cast. Wait, I said that wrong. Ben and Liam Podcast. If this is your first time tuning in ever, well, g'day, we're Ben and Liam, we're on Nova. This time next week, we are going with a whole bunch of you to Bali. A flight is leaving, Flight 919 to Bali Denpasar. Uh, if you want to come along, easy, just register via the Nova Player app. We do lots of boarding calls. There's going to be another one in like 10 or 15 minutes. But starting from Monday... We are calling people back who are on that standby list. Liam, uh, I know you and I are getting pretty excited about lots of things on this Bali trip. Um, I know a big part of the Bali lifestyle is the scooters. I'm very excited for the scooters. I know you are too. Have you also thought about maybe getting a motorbike? Because that's an option. I I might die on a moped. Yeah. I'll definitely die on a motorbike. So I think I'll take my chances. What if I got a motorbike? Would you come for a ride? Just, I think I'd feel safer here yeah. on a motorbike, and I wouldn't get on a motorbike here. You really? Know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever been on a motorbike? No. I take you for a ride one day. I can you? I, like don't, it. I don't want to do that. What do you mean, mate? You come off a motorbike in Bali. You know about it. You don't have to do anything. Though. You just sit on the back. I'll control it. 
got very good control. Yeah, and you've just had laser eye surgery just remember, within the last 24 hours. Just remember when you're on the back of the motorbike, when I go left, you have to lean right, okay? Pretty simple. Is that, is that how... Well, I'm bad with left and right as well. If you, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, so you... Because if you're on the back... You've got to even you, it you've out. You've got to counterbalance. So I would have thought we all go left soon. <laughs> so that... Yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah. that's where we're going wrong. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm sure the Nova um, HR and insurance team, all the lawyers <laughs> upstairs right now are going, this is not going to end well. Uh, but look, we, what we about are bungee jumping. Not in Bali. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like Bali's fun for a lot of things. Yeah, it's yeah. fun for like mainly you know having nice food yep. and just, you know having a few drinks, yep. chilling out around the beach and the pool. I might it's do that. It's not good for like let's do some extreme sports. Yeah, okay, I fair feel, enough. I yep. feel. Yeah. Um, and those ATVs, death traps, mate. No, they're nah, not. No, you're not going to get me anywhere. They're one not. Of them. Oh, they roll. They just roll. We should put an people. ATV on top of an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is probably something you can do in some places, but I uh, would not support that. Well, what if we give an elephant an ATV? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm sure there's also shows that you can go see that do that. Ben and Liam, dopamine for your ears. There was footage yesterday uh, circulating of uh, a woman getting tasered in, in Rundle Mall. It's pretty, it's pretty hard to see. Some people were saying, oh, it's like excessive force. There was like three cops and uh, two of them had like massive shotguns. Mm. That probably wasn't necessary. However... I think t- tasers fair game, especially oh, yeah. if someone's got a knife. And in Run Mall, you can you know you can hurt a lot of people very quickly. Mm. If that was in America, she probably would have been shot. So yeah. we're lucky to live in a country where the, where the taser is probably the worst you're going to get. But the the crazy thing is like because there's all different people filming it from different angles and stuff like that, and you can hear them kind of reacting to the taser. Imagine if you were there and you saw it because you'd, you'd be a story you remember for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, around this time last year, you and I were living in a glass box for an entire week in Rundle Mall. Uh, there was all sorts going on. There's people licking our windows. There's oh people, yeah. You know. There's people, you know, weeing. There was people, um, there was that guy that, um, rollerblades? Yeah, rollerblades. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had like no clothes on and he was rollerblading. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sarah on the text line said, I saw a guy running out of Lush who had clearly stolen something, then got tackled by security guards. Isn't it funny as well, Run them all? It's just like everyone's just sort of going about their day and then there'll be someone just walking, just going, Rah! Yeah. Just screaming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Julia joins us now from Two Rack Gardens. Good morning, Julia. What did you see in Rundle Mall? Oh, it wasn't anything that crazy like that, but did, have you ever seen that guy that, like, walks his bunny on a lead? I, I, I've, I've seen bell. the guy with the cat on the lead, but yeah. I haven't seen the guy with the bunny on the lead. Um he's got a little grey bunny with, like, yeah, this little pink harness thingy on, and he just walks it down the mall. Wow. That's cute. I didn't think you'd train a, a rabbit to do that. Yeah. I mean, well, I, are you more just sort of dragging it along at yeah. a certain point? I don't think they're, like, I don't think the rabbit's walking where you Well, Julia, was he walking it or was he dragging it? I think he was sitting at one of the benches when I first saw him, but okay. I was like, right. where could you, how could, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't, he, do, he doesn't really, I don't think rabbits, it's sort of, ha- you know, yeah. they, they're just going to go where they want to go. Uh, Lee in Mount Barker, what did you see in Rundle Mall? Uh, I saw a bin on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was anyone doing anything about it or? No, it's just stayed on fire for quite a while. Yeah. And then, yeah, we walked off and then later we come back and it was just a big pile of burnt. Plastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. A classic yeah. is, um, you know, that fountain just near the arcade square thing. They, yeah, put, yeah, they, yeah. they put the bubble bath in that. That's, that's a classic. Yeah, true. Um, uh, Dawn joins us now from Elizabeth. What did you see in Rundle Mall? Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Thank you very yeah, much. Happy Friday, happy Friday Dawn. Dawn. Yeah. Um, well, I've seen a couple having an argument. Oh. It was a bit full on. Like, she slapped his face and, you know, oh, no. a bit, bit aggressive. So I was a bit concerned, so I'll turn around and come back. It was only probably five, ten minutes, and they're doing the dirty, so I presumed everything was okay. Oh, in Rundle Mall? She is. In Rundle Mall. Yep. <laughs> oh, whereabouts? Oh, God, I can't remember whereabouts it was. But oh. I had, had a couple of drinks myself, but, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit concerned, yeah, 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 but... Yeah, I get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It was more of a late-night operation. Oh, my God, Dawn. They've obviously turned that fight around pretty quick. Yeah. I don't know how he swung that. So you're seeing more than just the malls, Bob. Here's another bit of curry. Trending. Trending all over the internet. Twitter. Instagram. Welcome to Facebook. Hey, guys. Well, some local news this morning, firstly, and I am personally so excited for this. The Adelaide City to the Adelaide Hills train line is one step closer wow. to happening. I hear they're getting colour TV in the hills soon, too. <laughs> 
It's pretty headroom. exciting. Yeah, if you didn't no. know, producer Bell lives in Mount Barker. Yes. Look, but I mean, and that's great. But doesn't it feel a little like, yeah, I do declare, we're getting a steam line. This is going to do wonders <laughs> for the region. Like it's, it feels a little old school that we're getting yeah, happy yeah, about. And- you well, having a train line. I am excited, and and the the only like down point is they've literally just said, okay, we're going to start trialing like using this Spanish company with their trains. We might look at having them, but really, it's not going to happen for another I don't know, like ten years. Think yeah. about a whole fifty five kilometer train line being built. It's not going to be done for it, ages. It took them that long but... to zhuzh the Gula. Like the Gula line was there, and they had to zhuzh it. I'm I, I, I'm saying twenty years, I reckon. Yeah, well, yes, exactly. And uh, obviously the hot news at the moment is that we have a huge uh, range of celebs, Hollywood celebs, here in Australia for filming. Um, Yesterday we were talking about Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom just touched down. Well, yesterday Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson were spotted in Cairns, far north Queensland. They went into a cafe. They uh, apparently called ahead and said, hey, do you have some space for some private guests. Uh, the cafe said, yep, sure, come on in. Um, the cafe has said that they actually, the barista didn't even know who they were. Mm. They just went, yeah, whatever. But apparently they were very, very nice. I uh, also saw that Pete Davidson was spotted at Time Zone later that day. How he good was. Is Time Zone? <laughs> I've seen Pete Davidson, like, in Queensland at bloody Time Zone. You wouldn't think, oh, that's Kim Kardashian's boyfriend. You'd be like, that guy's going to steal my wallet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I would be walking the other way if I saw him yeah. that time zone. That's true. That's true. And speaking of celebs in Australia, we also had Tom Hanks here for a while. He was filming the Elvis film. And uh, he actually, like, they were filming that in the Gold Coast. He hung around and did the Elvis premiere um, a few days ago. And there's footage of him giving his speech prior to the movie starting. And he explains what his one favourite thing about the Gold Coast is. I've shot films in Morocco and Los Angeles and New York City and Seattle and uh, none of them have what the Gold Coast have. What is that? In two words, Dan Murphy. What a man, what a man. <laughs> it's funny, he, I'm only hearing Woody's voice there when, yeah. he's, when he's talking. Yeah. Talking about Dan Murphy, he's just Tom just leaning into those deals, having a few cans yeah. of Woodstock alone in his Gold Coast hotel room. I've never been to America. I don't know what they have over there. Is Dan Murphy's... Like, is that a yeah, I don't know why Dan Murphy's like, is so special. Like, Well, we, we, we have cheap alcohol. They have cheap guns there. So ah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's the difference. Yeah. Blanc, blanc. All righty, folks, it's time for the Ben and Liam Beat Tray. Yeah, we give away a Beat Tray every damn week to the best caller we have. Uh, if you ever want to get involved with the show, it's always greatly appreciated. 13 24 10 is the number. Um, we've got some wonderful stuff in this week's main tray. Rissoles, chicken shazlicks, chops, patties, all the usual suspects. Yeah, all thanks to Para Hills Quality Meats. I've noticed not a lot of... Look, and they're great. They're, and this is I can see that it's really mm. good stuff. There's not a lot of originality in butcher names around the yeah. state. Uh, most of the time, it's just the, the suburb and yep. then Quality Meats. <laughs> that's, pretty yeah. much, that's the thing I've sort of yeah. noticed. Um, and then their like, little tagline is family-owned, quality meat, and quality service. So they've got quality in there three times. Because that's the thing. Sometimes you're getting quality meat without the quality service. Yep. And you're thinking, well, do I want to go here? But then when you can get both, or mm. Yeah. Mamma mia. And if you would like to go to Parry Hills Quality Meats, make sure you say hi to the owners, Luke, Paul, and Christine. Yeah. Open yeah. seven days. Well, thanks for the meat, guys. Um, before we get to our best call line. Sorry, they've wrote that wrong. It's not Paul, it's Paul. Oh. Not my good. fault, Producer Bell's fault. You'd look like a real idiot if you were saying, I'm here for Paul. <laughs> right. Where's well, Paul? Paul doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, before we get to the best caller, I wanted to nod the hat. Um, sorry, nod the head, tip the hat to uh, our worst caller. It would have to be Brooke, who I'm pretty sure was like the first caller we had this week. Brooke, how was your long weekend? Hello, yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry, it was almost like you had a predetermined answer for the uh, the question. We, we asked how, how your long weekend was. Was it was it good? Yeah, it was. It was really nice. Okay. What did you get up to, Brooke? Um, right now. We never really got on no. the uh, same wavelength. Didn't there. get a flow going. No, we certainly got a flow going with Carla from Happy Valley, who was a bit of fun. Oh, good morning, boys. I miss you from the dark side. Let me tell you. Now, my sorry, little sorry, sorry. Just gonna, before we move down on that one, I, what, do you, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean by that one? When we were Sith Lords, uh, or you? The national, no, the national um, oh, radio. So, so way. you used to listen to Triple J, where, oh. where we used to work, and, and then yeah. what? And now you listen to us on Nova. Yeah. Of course, I listen to Nova. Yeah, I 
Oh, oh good for you, Carl. Oh, Thank you very much. The South Australian Adelaide and boys. Oh, well done. good on you, Thank Carl. You. Well, thanks for thanks for switching over. Um, ah, hope... Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Carl is a real card. He's our best caller of the week. He joins us now. Congratulations, Carla. Thank you. Hey. Um, in regards to Power Hill, did you say there was a Carl that worked there? That's my brother. Oh, really? <laughs> your, your brother no. works at that, uh, that, um, that butcher? <laughs> that, that butcher. That's Power Hill, yeah. Oh, well, there you go. You're telling us you can get discount there anyway. We're not. We, I, I, we gave you the award for being on the same wavelength, and now we're not on the same wavelength at all. Um, fun fact, Carla, we used to also give away meat trays on the other show that you yep. used to listen to at the last station. Yeah, I know. That, that was that was always like um, not a real like we didn't actually send the meat out to anyone. It was yeah, more just like we had, fake meat we had to tell them after we go. Oh, that was just like a bit for radio. Yeah. But like now we're on that Nova money. We everyone gets mm. real. Now, money. now I'm going to interrupt something. Now mm. I want to ask Ben something. Yeah. How's your granddad? Well, he's passed away. Oh, he was so good. He was such a good I love waiting for him to come on on the radio. Oh, so you yeah. used to hear, cause yeah, so we used to, so, yeah, we used to get Poppy on the radio. Uh, that was at the it's old station. Yes. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's unfortunate that you mention it now because yeah. he did have his funeral two days ago. Yeah, so. but that's all right, Carl. Oh, I'm sorry. No, but that's I okay. Have... It's nice that you remember him for being yeah. good fun on the radio. Yeah, no, he was always great. And, it was um, fun. Uh, you will have to listen to the podcast if you want to hear those yeah. things because yeah. we will not be having him on again. Well, look, Carla, uh, we gave you the best call of the week. It's not, it's Thank not going you. super smoothly. <laughs> But we are still going to give you that Friday meat tray. Hey, I've got no hand-eye coordination, so I don't know where these are going to land. Okay. okay. Well, let's uh, load up the pork nut. <laughs> All right, it's Here coming. It comes, Carla. Get ready. Ah! It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. <laughs> oh. 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 Right in my lap. Oh, oh. perfect. Balls everywhere. <laughs> Oh, oh, well. my glasses. Oh, oh, <laughs> right. Oh, golly, God. All right. <laughs> Carla, you have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good weekend, Carla. Oh. Uh, See ya. Okay, bye. bye. So bye. good. That like, was that was like a bin fire, but I loved every minute of it. <laughs> it's like, like she wasn't listening to what we were saying. She was just, just saying, talking. Saying she was things. just saying stuff. How's your grandpa? Yeah, he died this week, actually. So <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah. And that's the end of the Ben and Liam podcast. Uh, as I said, um, episode 468, Laser Remnant Juice, is the name of the pod. Got a suggestion. Rarely get suggestions from the boss. Yep. Um, but Re-podcast titles? Yeah. He sent an email saying we should name today's pod R.I.P. Poppy. Yeah, which I also wasn't wild on. I feel like I was like, oh, I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah, no, I also thought that. Yeah, it's yeah. literally. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I way prefer what it is called. Especially, I mean, like you of all people. Yeah. Like, as much as it's a sad thing, you yeah. did sort of make a, a bit of a joke yep. about the unfortunate experience oh, yeah. in the last week's off-air podcast. Yep. It was a bit of a bombshell that yep. then dropped. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's that's bold from the boss being. Like, yeah, yeah. I think it's like you know, it's okay when I make the joke, not as not when someone else makes it. Even someone said, um, so in that email chain, yep. Andy said, "Brutal from Liam." You'll have to listen to the podcast to hear Poppy, uh, Poppy, because yep. we won't be having him on anymore. Yep. Did, was that too close to the line for me? Not to, at all. No, okay, good. Not at all. Because That's I, fine. I sort of thought, okay, he's he's cool with it. Yep. And I, at many points this week, have been like. Hey man, like hope it goes well. Yeah. Like pass my thoughts on how did it yeah. go, man? How are you yeah. feeling? And you play a pretty straight bat. Like so, I don't. I actually don't even know if you're sad or not. Yeah. I, I'm assuming you are, but yeah. like I just I wouldn't know. Like yeah. it's yeah yeah. How are you going? I'm all good. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this is what I mean. My this eyes, like- my eyes hurt. That's more <laughs> yeah. from the laser, not from like yeah crying. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I think I feel bad for mum more than anything. Her, well, it's her dad, so I feel bad. Yeah. But he was 87. He had like. He's got like forty grandkids. He's got great grandkids. He's gonna say he had like forty grand. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. He lived a good long well, life. Well, yeah, he and he was very happy right until oh, the yeah. end. Like every time we had him, I'm like, geez, this yeah. guy. Yeah, he's yeah. full of beans. He's full of beans. He yeah. has the thing that my Irish nana has, which is that thing where it's like it. It seems like they're a little bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like they're just like yeah. almost too happy. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think we will affectionately say rest in peace to the poppy. Mm-hmm. We will not. Name call the, the podcast, podcast R.I.P. Poppy. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I, we will be reporting our, our boss to the HR department. Yes. And um, uh, hopefully we get paid under the um, yep. under the table to sort of get, not go yep. public with that, even though yep. I suppose we, even we kind of have. we're doing that currently. Yep. We won't escalate it further. No, no, yep. no. But uh, if we don't see a bit of money, yep. 
that's all that goes for all of us. Yep. Um, Bell, you're in. You're in. You're that. in that. Yep. We're trying to get a payout. We're trying to get some money for you, Bell. Uh, workplace bullying. Yeah. From the boss. Yep. Did it also offend you that he suggested that? That mic there. Oh. Come on, Bell. Sorry. Did you? Were you offended by that suggestion? No. Great. Well, you've been well, cut out. Yeah, so you've been cut out. So yeah. I am very offended. Oh, well. Wow. Okay. Please you, give me more money. You're back in. Okay, you're back, <laughs> back in. The fold. You're back in. Everyone's in the fold except for Andy, who had the week off because he had COVID. <laughs> yeah. Who he, who is going to come in on Monday's pod, full of beans, trying to debate that he wasn't having the time off? But oh, I think we get it. Why don't we zoom him into the off-air pod today? Yeah. Yeah. Get, catch up with him. I want right. to hear what he has to say. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. See you, podcaster. <laughs> Ben and Liam is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.